Hello and welcome to more Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. Last time we had some crazy hockey matches, but we managed to come out on top. Now we haven't finished off this stage right here, Colossus. So today we're going to be finishing, out, uh, finishing that off. We've got just a little bit more to go. So let's go do it. First off, we've got to do some backtracking here because we had to kill a bunch of enemies to unlock a certain power-up thing, which was this right here, which looks kind of like a spring. Let's try it out and see what happens. Okay, so if we walk through it, we get a super jump, and it's gonna put us up top here. And that's gonna give us some more gems that we need. All right, dude. Uh, let's just look around a bit more on this side as well. And it looks like we can go inside. Whoa, the professor's in here. Let's go talk to him. Right after we get some gems, of course. All right, let's go talk to the professor and see what he has to say here. Oh, I guess there's like an evil spirit thing. Oh, thank goodness you scared that evil spirit away. No but problem. now it will hide in the statues. If you were to flame all ten statues, I'm sure you would chase it away for good. Oh my gosh, we've got to flame ten statues. Once again, a three-star difficulty, so we'll do our best to flame ten statues. So, is it just these? Okay, so we look for the green ones, and we have to turn them gold just like that. Let me make sure there's no more on the backside. I don't think there were. Okay, cool. So, we've got to basically fly around the stage and find all these different statues. That's okay, but let me just uh, get some gems up here first. And I'm also going to check out the roof of this place. Yeah, it looks like there's some more stuff over here as well. So, let's go get these and let's see. It looks like, oh, there's a statue over here as well. All right. So, this is going to be the last orb for the place, I'm guessing. Now, there were a couple more enemies on the other side over here. So, those will probably be the last two enemies we got to kill. I think I got everything inside here. I'm guessing we're good. I'll come back and check again if we end up not having all the gems at the end of this. But well, let's drop down here, kill off these last two enemies. Looks like there's a, another statue here too. But I think we're probably going to want to go back to the start of the stage and kind of work our way back to the end uh, to find all the statues. Because I'm guessing they're going to be all the way back at the start as well. Uh, there's a fairy down there. I don't think that's too important though. Can we jump along the top of these? I guess we can, but I don't really see any relevance to doing that. Uh, yep, there's a statue right here. Okay, so we're halfway done already. That wasn't too bad. There's a penguin there. Let me go back even further. I gotta go all the way back. Okay, here's one. Uh, I think the start of the stage was back through this way. And are there any statues over here? Okay, there's the start. Let's just, let's just pretend we start at the very start here. And now we'll start looking for statues. And it looks like there's actually none here. So we might have already got the ones back at the start. Those two that we got over here. No, there's one here too. How did I miss that? I got the one on the right, but missed the one on the left somehow. There you go. We're up to seven now. And have we got that one? Yes, we have. Okay. So we just need three more. But where could they be? We do have the spring right here so we can get up top. Now, over on this side, uh, there was some more stuff to break. So let me go back up top here and we'll see if we can get that. There we are. We'll just drop down here. Oh, kind of did that wrong. Hold up. Let me try that one again. Wait, what's through the swoop de whoop? Have I taken this before? I feel like I have, but okay, yeah, it's just gonna put us right up here. Okay, that works, but let me go do the spring and try that one again. We'll go up top here, and then we'll go a little bit further over this way, and then we'll drop down. There we go. Let's grab us some reds there, and we'll light this guy that'll blow up that statue over there so we can, or it's not statue, the uh, treasure chest. Can we also go over here? I guess we can, uh, unless I fall like an idiot. Okay, well, let's backtrack. Let's go get the stuff that was inside the treasure chest, and then I'll go back up top. Looks like a couple of the things actually fell a little bit. So it's kind of a good thing I fell, actually, because I was going to have to go down anyways. Let's go over like that. Oh, not too far. There we go. And then we can spring back up. Okay, so we got all the gems. We don't have to look for those anymore. Now we are exclusively looking for the uh, the statues. Once we get all the statues, then we're done. So I'm guessing there's going to be a statue over this way. Let's just drop back down. And let me try not to fall like an idiot this time. Let's just jump and hook a left. And there we go. Let's see. Uh, there's some statues we've already gotten. Uh, definitely looks like we're meant to go over here, but I can't tell for sure. Maybe not. I think this is just a very oddly shaped platform. I, I don't think we're meant to actually go up here. All right, so let me go look for some more statues. I think there might be one over by the end. That's what I'm thinking, guys. Let's go take a peek by the end of the stage where that little uh, portal was back to the... Uh, where we got the talisman, basically. Okay, there's one right here. So there is the power-up thing, and there's one of the statues. We just need two more. And I'm guessing, again, that there's going to be at least one inside here. Maybe not. Where are the crowd are these guys? Help me out, please. I can't find the last two statues. Uh, maybe over by the hockey. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's one right there. Okay, just one more. Hopefully it's over by the hockey game. Guys, do you think that I should go watch a hockey game at some point? I think they do have hockey up here. I live in uh, upstate New York, which is not too far from Canada. 
And I know hockey's really big in Canada, but I think that it kind of spills over a little bit into where I live as well. So maybe I should go watch a hockey game in person at some point. I have seen baseball games in person, but that's the only thing I've ever watched in person. I've never gone and seen anything else. Not that I'm like really big on sports, but watching it live is pretty fun, I think. And I'm still looking for one more statue. I think I'm just going to have to edit the head, guys, and we'll find it. Aha, I found it. Okay, so it's next to that guy that made the platform. There's the swoop soup inside. We kind of just dropped down a little bit, and it's right there, of course, being all sneaky. So let's go ahead and light that. I'm not sure if we have to go back to the professor. No, it's going to teleport us. Okay. Well done, Spyro. Thank you. You scared the evil spirit away. I sure Why did. take this? I okay. borrowed it from the temple. Yeah, they don't need it. Yeah, they don't need those stinking orbs. What are the purpose of the orbs anyways, right? I mean, he used the orbs to get us here in the first place, right? He used two orbs to teleport us to this place from wherever we were. So there we go. Colossus is complete. I guess that's actually the first stage we fully completed because we need the climbing for Glimmer. We needed swimming for back in uh, Idle Springs. And speaking of that, actually, no, I, I think I did finish Idle Springs. Never mind. Forget that. We went back after we got the swimming. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and hit exit right here. And whenever you exit, you get these little cutscenes as well. I don't know. How do you guys feel about the little cutscenes? I think they can be kind of cute, but... Not much purpose to them. I think Spyro 2 kind of tries to be cartoonish and comedic, so it mixes these in. And it works, I guess. I like it. Oh, and he's getting smushed. Totally smushed. Gosh dang, dude, this gosh dang stone didn't even fall afterwards. He was just totally splattered and stuck, man. But there we go. 400 more gems, over 700 again, even after already spending 500 to get upgrades from money bags. So we're doing really good right now. But before we go down into the water, because that's where we're going to have to go to actually progress with uh, more stages. Before we do that, I want to backtrack a little bit, because way back at the start, we can now swim. And doing that, we can actually uh, get some more gems that we need. So we'll be one step closer to actually finishing off the hub orb right here. We still can't go back and finish off Glimmer. We don't have the ability to climb. I don't know when we get that. Hopefully not too far from now. Can you guys imagine if we had to go to like World 2 or 3? Or, I don't know, even later. I, I don't know how many worlds there are, but imagine if we had to do all that and then get the climb and come back. That would be crazy. Anyways, I think we've got all that stuff. Let's drop down. We've got some fishies down here. Oh, actually, I think this might lead to an orb, doesn't it? Holy crud. Let me go up here. Um, let me just make sure there's nothing in the seaweed or kelp, whatever that crud is. There we are. Actually, speaking of seaweed, I had sushi for the first time a couple of days ago, and I guess there was seaweed in that. And I, I had a California roll because a lot of people suggested that, but I did not really do just like beginner stuff to keep it easy. I did like the straight up slabs of raw fish on top of rice, like the plain, like sushi as you'd expect, not just the rolls. And I don't know, man, I didn't not like it, but it's very strange. It's very strange eating the raw fish. And also, um, it's kind of weird because Clubby said you're supposed to eat the whole thing in one bite, so I did, but it's so much food for one bite for me. So I was like, just trying not to like gag on it because it was just such a big bite. And I think that might have uh, like made me a little queasy, but I don't know, it was it was not bad. I, I could get used to it for sure. I had some of Clebby's crunch roll and that was really good. Gosh dang it, can I get the pot right there? Please. But yeah, the actual sushi, I don't know, like I said, I don't not like it. I tried wasabi as well, which I don't know, kind of a weird taste. I didn't really like the taste of wasabi, but I do like the spiciness from it. But uh, well. I'll probably go back and try some more again at some point. Ah, here we go. This is where we can actually progress here. So let's go up top. But yeah, I think the weirdest thing I ate was I had raw squid. That was very interesting, but well, I guess that's something I've done now. Now I can, I can say I've officially tried sushi. Anyways, let's go through here and let's see if we can get anything up top here. I'm guessing this is where the rest of the stages are going to unlock. Now right here, we can flame this crud to go right on through, get some more stuff. Got a couple of tens, there we go. Let's flame this one as well. And we've got another fairy. Let's see if she says anything here. You're well on your way, Spyro. Keep collecting talismans to help us defeat Ripto before he can take over Avalar. All right, I'll do my best. I've already got three talismans oh, out of 14. And keep collecting those orbs, too. The professor thinks they will help you get back to the dragon world. Ah, okay. So we definitely want to get those orbs as well. I mean, I'm getting them anyways. So over here, we've got a new world. We've got Huracos. And I'm guessing there's going to be more. There's also Elora. We'll go talk to her in just a second, guys. But let me let me just look around here at all our different options. Here we've got Sunny Beach. Oh, I love that stage. That's a really fun one. Maybe we'll do Sunny Beach next time. Uh, next time. I'm not sure if we'll do that or Huracos. Huracos is more dark and gloomy. But, uh, I mean, I like all the stages in this game. So, nothing too bad there. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Maybe we can learn to climb. Hold up, hold up. Let's go talk to her. I saw something shiny at the top of this wall. 
You could probably get it, but you'll have to learn how to climb first. Gosh dang it, we gotta learn how to climb to get this too. So we've gotta learn how to climb to get that and to get the stuff back in Glimmer. Let's talk to Hunter at least and see what he has to say here. The game camera is currently in passive mode. Okay. This mode requires you to control the camera yourself. That's how I like it. It moves more slowly. Yeah. Yeah, you can make it automatic, but like, I like it passive. I can change the game camera to use active mode. In active mode, the camera moves much faster. No thanks, Hunter. Thanks for the offer, man, but I'm going to go ahead and say no. I like my passive camera. You can change it in the options menu. You can change it right there. You can kill frogs. Be a murderous gosh dang. Oh, dude, there we go. Gosh dang, sometimes murdering frogs is not that easy. But I want to explore the actual hub world a bit more here before we end things off. So that does not open that one. I guess it opens the one on this side. Let's see, we got more stuff to get. Let me go take a peek at how close we are to finishing this. So we still need two more orbs and 100 more gems in Summer Forest. No enemies here, so nothing to look out for there. Oh, wait a second. Here's money bags. I think he just lowers the wall when we talk to him, but maybe he'll teach us to climb. Let's go talk to him. But again, I think he's just going to lower this wall right here. Hey, Spyro, you see this wall here? Yeah. I think you're dying to know what's on the other side. Uh-huh, dying, yeah. If I had a few more gems, I might be able to remember how to Spin lower it. Spin it out, man. How many gems do you need for me to lower it? 400. Okay, we'll do that. We've got plenty. Hmm. Yes, the sparkling beauty of those gems seems to have jogged my memory. Okay. And I guess that'll drop the wall for us, which is very handy. There we go. And there is yet another world we've got access to, so I've got to figure out which one I want to do next. But let's go take a peek. Let me just get some more gems here. I think we can finish off Summer Forest's uh, uh, gems right now, so I'll probably do that today at least. Let's see, what do we got? This one is, oh, Aquaria Towers. That is an underwater stage, which is actually not too bad. I usually don't like, don't, I usually don't like water stages too much in video games, but I don't mind it too much in Spyro. And I think the boss of this world is actually through here. Let's go talk to Alora again. Hi, Spyro. Hey. This talisman door will only open if you have all six, all six of them. All six yes. of them, yes. Once the door is open, Ripto and Crush will be waiting in the dungeon. Okay, so yes, we have to fight Ripto and Crush, or more specifically, we have to fight Crush. But we've got to get all six talismans. Now, you don't have to get all the orbs, you don't have to get all the gems, but you do have to at least go through and get the talismans. Now, we've already got three, so Aquaria Towers, Sunny Beach, and Huracos are the last three. But before I do that, I want to go get those gems up there at least. I think we can go through this way to get there. Um, no, this just kind of loops back around. I forgot how to get up there. This is a little tricky. Uh, what other paths do we have? So this way just leads to there. Uh, is there anywhere else we can possibly go? Maybe we can't get everything until we get the climbing ability, of course. I mean, that's where one of the orbs is, but I didn't know we couldn't get all the gems as well. Yeah, I think we have to... Wait! Now this one opened up this time. Wow, I don't know why they didn't open up the first time, but there you go, we can actually go through here. Gosh dang, Alora again. And it looks like there's actually another stage here, so I'll talk to her in a second, but... Let's go ahead and hit this one. Oh, I see, it opens up one and closes another right there. Is it gonna close on its own in a second? How does that work? Can I go back and close it? Uh, okay, so that opens one and closes another. I think I might be able to jump out of the window and jump around? No, I don't know how that works then. We've got to find some way to, like, flame that without... Huh, I don't know. Let's go Let's go talk to Alora and see if she has any tips for us. I think she's just going to mention something with this gate here. Nice work, Spyro. Thank you. The orbs you're carrying have activated this special portal. Okay, so we get special portals for the orbs. The ocean speedway, but if you're fast, you'll get lots of treasure. Got have it. Fun. So basically we can use the orbs to unlock special stages. It's probably this game's equivalent to the flying stages back in Spyro 1. And if we get that, then we can get a bunch of money to help us pay for money bags. Awesome. Now I still don't know. Yes, actually we, it does look like we can go around. So maybe I can go like this and fly up here. Yes, indeed. But I want to close the door before I do that, it looks like. So let's close that and then we can jump out of here. Uh, can we make it? Yep, this is the right one. And there we go, we got it! What's inside? It's an orb! Alright guys, so we've got the third orb for here, still one more to go. And we still need 11 treasure. I'm guessing that last orb and the rest of that treasure we have to get climbing for. But you know what guys, we're gonna go ahead and wrap things up there today. We'll come back next time, I'm not sure what stage we'll do. It's gonna be either Aquarius, uh, well, one of the four stages, but I probably won't do the speedway quite yet. I might save that for the end. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, I'll see you next time. Take care.